Welcome! In this video I'll show you how to solve problem 4.1 as it appears in the third edition of Griffith's Introduction to Quantum Mechanics. This problem states the following, it says work out the radial wave functions R30, R31 and R32 using the recursion formula. And we don't have to bother normalizing them, we will do that in the next problem. So what we're going to do basically is learn how to come up with the radial solutions to the hydrogen atom, right, um, using the recursion formula. Okay, so what we need are these equations. So first, this one here is just the one I put here for context. So the wave function for the hydrogen atom, we can separate into a radial part and an angular part. Now the angular part we have already looked at, um, we are not going to bother with it for now. Of course, we have already done that. And you can go back in the playlist if you haven't. And now we want to focus on the radial part. So the radial part, we have seen that we can write it as 1 over r rho, which is r over a n, l plus 1 e to the minus rho, and then this polynomial v of rho, which is again a polynomial where the power, right, of the, it is of the order n minus l minus 1, right? That is the highest order. Of the polynomial. I, you don't have to know it, you're gonna see that it actually it comes from here, right? That's where it comes from. Um, so yeah, and how do you find a v of rho? That's the main point in this problem, that's what I will show you. Okay, um, so let me just show you how to do it. So we want first of all to go for r30, right? Keep in mind l and n, which is here and here, those are basically our parameters, right? n and l, those are the parameters that we have to plug in. So let's see. So R30, this means we just take this formula and plug in n equals 3, l equals 0. So we have 1 over R, rho to the 0 plus 1, so simply rho, but rho is R over a n. So R over, what is n? n is 3, so 3 a. Then we get e to the minus rho, so e to the minus R over 3 a and then v of rho. Okay, so what is v of rho? Well, v of rho, v of rho, this is the sum of some coefficient a i times, um, let's write it as perhaps rho i. Okay, let's use that right there. And we're going to be summing from a i to zero until the maximum, so max, whatever the maximum is. So in this case, Let's write it like this. So a0 rho to the 0th. So there. Then plus a1 and rho to the 1. So just rho. Then a2 rho squared plus a3 rho cubed and so on. Now what is the maximum order? There's two ways to go about it, right? When do we stop? When do we stop? You can use this n minus l minus 1. That is the maximum order. So if n is 3, so max if n is 3, the maximum is 3 minus l, which is 0, minus 1, so the maximum is 2. So that says we only go up to this point. And soon I will show you another way, right? What if you forget about this formula? I will show you. And it's actually very, very natural. You're going to see it anyways, even if I don't tell you. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, so what are these coefficients? Well, a0 is going to be the coefficient that we use to normalize, and we will write every other coefficient, a1, a2, a3, and so on, depending on how far we go, in terms of a0. And we are going to use this recursion formula. So a1, for example, which is the one that comes after a0, and this corresponds to j equals 0, right? a j plus 1, so if we want a1, we need j equals 0. This is 2 times j is 0, l is 0, plus 1 minus 3, divided by j plus 1, so 1, times j, which is 0, 2l, which is 0, plus 2, so 1 times 2. So the 2s here, they cancel out. So we end up with, and this of course multiplies a0, right? It multiplies a j, but j is 0. So there we have minus 2 a0, so that is a1. So this thing right here, a1, this is simply minus 2a0. So now you can see another term here is uh, written in terms of a0. Then we have a2, 
which we do the same thing. This time, this corresponds to j equals 1. So let's just plug it in, and we have 2. 1 plus 0 plus 1 minus 3. And we divide now by j plus 1, which is 2. 1 plus 0 plus 2, so 3. 2 times 3. The 2s cancel out. Here we have 1 plus 1 minus 3, so that is minus 1. So, and this of course times a1. So this is minus a1 over 3. But what is a1? a1 we have right here, right? This is a1. So that is minus 1 third times minus 2 a0. So this is 2 thirds a0. And what happens, right? Because this is the maximum. This is where the polynomial stops, right? That's what we said. It goes only up to 2, and we are already at a2. But what if I don't know that? What if I continue going? Let's see. So if I go for a3, that means j is equal to 2. Let's plug it in. So that means 2 times j, which is 2, plus l, which is 0, plus 1, minus 3. And then divide it by j plus 1, which is going to be 3, times um, 5 and times a2. But notice this thing right here is 0, so we get 0 times a2. Right? This in here, 3 minus 3 is 0, so we end up with 0. So if you continue going, even though you got to the maximum, you simply get 0. So you're not just going to get like a, a wrong number, you just get 0 and you will notice that you should stop. Okay, so let's now get rid of those, and now instead of a2, we write 2 thirds, so plus 2 thirds a0. So now let's factor a0 out and we get 1 minus 2 rho plus 2 thirds rho squared. Okay, and now we can also write this in terms of r instead of rho. So we get a0, 1 minus 2r over 3a, right, using this thing right here, plus 2 thirds rho squared, so r squared divided by 9a squared, okay? So this would be 2 over 27, so that's 2 over 27. So now we can just go ahead and plug it in, right? r30, maybe let's do it somewhere over here, r30, I'm going to be using what we wrote down previously right there. This is 1 over r, actually r cancels out, right? This cancels out with this. So this is simply 1 over 3a. So 1 over 3a e to the minus r over 3a. And then the polynomial, which is a0, 1 minus 2r, 3a, plus 2 over 27, r squared over a squared. So this right here is r30, and as you can see, we still have this normalization constant there, a0, which again, you find by normalizing. Now, we will not do, this in the, do that in this video, we will do that in the next video. So the next thing that we now want to do is go for r31. Okay, so let's go for r31. So perhaps let's take some of these things to the right. So let's take this, let's take this. And in case I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I'll also take that. Okay, so r31. So r31, this is 1 over r. Now rho to the l plus 1, l is 2 this time. So that means rho, uh, sorry, l is 1. So that means that rho is to the second power. Sorry, that's what I meant. So we get r to the second power. e to the minus rho and v of rho. Now, what is rho again? Rho is r over a n, but n, well, it's still 3, so this hasn't changed. Okay, so we can now go ahead and perhaps substitute in for this. So I'm just going to move this 1 over r, and then r over 3a squared, and then e to the minus rho, so this is r over 3a. And what is v of rho? v of rho is going to be, again, a0 plus a1 rho plus a2 rho squared plus etc. But what is the maximum power this time? n minus l minus 1. This gives us the maximum power. Well, n is 3, l is 1, so 3 minus 1 minus 1. 
So the maximum power is going to be one. After one, it's going to just turn into zero. Okay. So let's see. Um, here we have, well, A0 we already know, so we only need to calculate A1. So A1, again, it is for the case J is equal to zero. And then we have two, zero, plus one, plus one, minus three. And we divide by J plus one, which is one, times zero plus two plus two, so four. Right? It's not the same as before, because before we had L equals zero. Now it's not zero anymore. So using this, we have minus one, so minus two, this is times a zero. So we have minus one half a zero, right? Just double checking. So this is minus one, minus two, minus one half. Okay, so this is what we now plug in here. So this is minus a zero over two. So now let's just plug it in and we can easily and quickly find r31, which is, now we can simplify this r with a square, so we get 3 over 9a squared, e to the minus r over 3a, and now comes the polynomial. We can also factor out a0, I guess, so let's write it there, and we have 1 minus 1 half times rho, which is r over 3a. So perhaps let's put the numbers together, so this is 1 sixth. Um, so just double checking, uh, yeah, that's it. So now for the last case where r is equal to, sorry, sorry, where we want to find r of 3, 2, right? n equals 3, l equals 2. We just take this again and we do the exact same procedure. So this time we want r, 3, 2. So this is 1 over r rho to the, and now L is 2, so we have rho cubed, e to the minus r over 3a, right, rho is the same as before, n has not changed, and then we have v of rho. Now, what is the maximum power of this uh, polynomial this time? So this time, the maximum power, again, n minus L minus 1, so this means 3 minus 3 equals 0. So this time the only term is going to be a0, so that's actually kind of simple. <laughs> that means that the only term in this polynomial is a0 and nothing else. So let's plug it in. As you can see, this was very quick. So r3, 2 of r, this is 1 over r. Then we have a row cubed, which is going to be r cubed over 3 cubed, 27, a cubed, and then e to the minus 3 a r over 3a times a0. So here the r's cancel out a little bit. So we have r squared over 27 a cubed and times a0 e to the minus 3 a r over 3a. So there we go. This is how you find the radial functions. And of course, you can find any other using this formula. As you can see, it's not particularly uh, difficult. It may be hard if you are in like very high values for n and l, but all in all, it's not too terrible. Um, so yeah, I hope that this video was useful to you. And if it was, please make sure to leave a like on the video, comment and subscribe, and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon. So I'll see you in another video. Thank you very much for watching.